Here's our first one right here. Oh, dang. Oh, I got that one. Oh yeah. Oh, what is going on, everybody? I am back with a clean bill of health. And let me tell you, after being cooped up in the house for a couple weeks, I am ready for a little bit of that nitty gritty. I've got two bows with me. I got just a standard 80 pound crossbow. They're all about the same. This one's a Hellhawk. And then in the bag, I got the Vlad Tactical. I'm gonna start with the 80 pound bow. See if I can shoot me a fish or two on this flat. It's supposed to rain like two inches here in this afternoon tonight. And it's coming from the north. So that, that cold rain's most likely gonna push push these buffalo and carp off this flat. So we are gonna try to get it done while we still got time. All right, there ain't nothing to do now but get a little mud tweener toes get out there. Here's our first one right here. Oh, dang. That water was so muddy. I got right up on him before I even seen him. We're gonna have to ease a little slower. Oh, I got that one. There we go. First one of the day. Water's muddy. You think with it being low like this, it'd clear up a little. There we go. That's not a bad buffalo, about, I don't know, three pounds. Let's, uh, let's try to shoot one more with this and then we'll go get the Vlad. I got something really special planned for these fish. I think y'all might like. There's that gar. Oh, I got him. Oh, he broke my line. It shot all the way through. Them gar, if you're gonna bow fish with gar, you pretty well gotta use a leader. No matter what line I've been using, if it shoots all the way through them, which these bows do, all of them, then it's gonna cut your line. They just got sharp skin. All right, we'll skip the guard because I don't have any leaders. And we'll tie another arrow in here and see if we can find a buffalo or a carp. Oh, golly, boom. That one snuck up on me. That's another gar. Let's see if we can get it in before, before we break my line. All right, we're just gonna run to the bank with him. Dang it! I don't know why I even bother shooting those things without a leader. All right, go ahead. Talk smack. I deserve it. All right, we're trading bows. Y'all know if y'all watched any of my earlier videos, I was having trouble with gar and I started using leaders and completely solved the problem. But I don't have any leaders with me. I didn't expect to see gar today. I was just gonna come down here and shoot some buffalo. I don't know why I took that second shot. It was just there. But we're gonna switch to the the Vlad real quick, work our way back, see if we can find a, another buffalo. I will not shoot another gar. All right, the Vlad's a little different. It doesn't have a rail on it. So you can't just attach the reel to the rail. You have to zip tie it. Let me find a screwdriver to get this off. I think I got one in my bag. I must have took my screwdriver out, but that's working. Okay, now to get this sucker on the Vlad, we're just gonna use zip ties. Two of them will work. We're gonna zip tie that sucker right there. Yeah. One on the front, and then one on the back. I'm gonna put a third one around the front here. Just to hold everything straight. There, that sucker ain't going nowhere now. All 
But the bolts I used for this one are a little bit different. They're just like, just like the uh, bolts I was using for the 80 pound bow, but I've took some sandpaper and I've sanded the back and the front down so that it'll fit between the magazine and the rail. And then I just cut a little aluminum piece out of one of the cheap bolts you get and I put it on the middle there so that it'll set flat. Let me get this tied on here and we'll ease out here and see if we could shoot another fish. Buffalo. No more gar. You got everything rigged up now. You just pop the safety catch up. Cock that sucker. And then slide your arrow in from the front. All the way back. Push your safety latch down. And you are ready to do some bow fishing. Let's get out there. Let me get my mess cleaned up. Let's go see if we can find another fish. I see another gar. I'm not going to shoot it though. Because this bow will for sure put it all the way through. If you're wondering what the difference is. Oh, I wish he would swim off. If you're wondering what the difference is between this and like traditional recurve bow fishing rigs. Well, the difference is the arrow length. Like when you're fishing with a regular bow fishing rig, your arrow is like 30 inches long. So your arrow is not shooting all the way through the fish. You're fighting the fish with the arrow in direct contact with the skin these arrows are like seven they're not even seven they're six inches long maybe i'd have to look 5.7 inches is what it says and they're shooting all the way through the fish and with a gar they got real tough sharp skin so when you shoot all the way through the fish your line's in direct contact with the skin and it cuts it almost every time almost you'll get them in every now and then what I do when I know I'm going to be bow fishing for gar is I'll strip the guts out of some paracord and I'll take about 15 inch strips of it and I'll use it for a leader and about every three or four shots I'll trade it out because they'll break that too on the third or fourth shot. I'm going to start easing back around. Uh, I got to get out of this spot. I don't jack around and shoot another gar and then y'all really make fun of me if I break another one off. Wouldn't be that big of a deal if I was prepared and had some paracord in my bag. I'd just tie a leader, but I don't. Here we go. Right there. Oh, I got him. Oh, he went out that way. That's a little bigger one. is not in him good i got to get him to the bank pretty quick just oh he went between my legs heading to the bank that's a solid fish why just barely clipped him in the top of the back but that's that's a five pounder compared to the three pounder we shot with the 80 pound bow i guess i guess if you was going to put these bows head to head you would have to find something other than uh bow fishing because they they both they both perform equally well when it comes to bow fishing you'd have to factor in other things like if you were going to hunt with it i'd probably get the uh vlad if you were just gonna bow fish, I would say the 80 pound bow is probably better set up. That bow is designed and made more for home defense in places where firearms aren't readily available. But I don't know, you just have to weigh your options, decide what you want to do with the bow and then make your decision based off of that. All of them, you know, totality. We'll get this fish on the stringer and we'll see if we can shoot another one. Here's one. They're always facing me. I need them to turn sideways. I got him. Oh yeah. Oh, he's around a log. This ain't good. You know what happens when they get me around a log? Pulls out. 
the one working its way right up here in front of me. Oh yeah. <laughs> the zip ties aren't holding quite as good as the tack rail, but they both work. Put it all the way through. That's another about three pounder, about the same size as the one I shot a while ago. Let me get up here to the bank and stick him on the stringer with the other one. Well, I'm gonna call it. Three fish ain't a bad day for the first day back in a while. Next time I'll remember to make leaders and bring them with me, we'll catch him a guard too. We'll be in good shape. Deer season opens up here in three or four days. I'm not real sure what day it is. Anyways, less than a week deer season opens, so that's what we're gonna be doing from here on out most likely. I'm gonna quit jabbering drag these fish to the truck. I'll get them home get them cleaned. I appreciate y'all watching We'll catch you next time